Joy Behar, a panelist on US TV talk show The View, disagreed with Dame Judi Dench's warning about The Crown, suggesting the show does not need a disclaimer. This comes amid growing commentary surrounding the upcoming fifth season of the hit Netflix show. Dame Judi Dench accused the show of crude sensationalism, as she called for a disclaimer, for the sake of a family and a nation so recently bereaved, as a mark of respect to a sovereign who served her people so dutifully for 70 years, and to preserve its reputation in the eyes of its British subscribers. But Ms. Behar said that anyone with a brain would understand what's accurate and not. Fellow panelist Suni Hostin also defended the show's reported plan to show the timeline leading up to Princess Diana's death. The Crown has already vowed not to recreate the car crash that killed Princess Diana in 1997. Ms. Hostin used Prince Harry's own words to justify the Crown's treatment of Diana, despite concerns in the royal family, as she added that history is ugly sometimes. Justin, another Meghan Deal or No Deal co-star, opens up after Duchess remarks, Joy Behar, a panelist on The View, rebuked Dame Judi Dench's warning about The Crown, image, The View, there is growing controversy surrounding the upcoming fifth season of the hit Netflix show, image, Netflix. The View panelist said, I will say this, one of the pushbacks that they're getting is about Princess Diana's death. They're not going to show what really happened, but I think we all remember how tragic that was, and history is ugly sometimes, and I don't think there's a problem showing it. I found a quote from Harry. He told Oprah, history was repeating itself. My mother was chased to her death while she was in a relationship with someone that wasn't white and now look what happened. He feared that it was gonna happen again. It's something we should never forget happened. Whoopi Goldberg said that the historical fiction series had to be careful, image, The View. Ms. Behar echoed this, as she challenged Dame Judy's criticism, saying, this Dame disagrees with Dame Judy Dench, because they tell you at the top that it is not a documentary. If you have a brain, you can figure out that the writers have used history. And if it's documented history, then we can believe it, but we're not going to believe a conversation that's going on in the bedroom of Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip. Nobody was there but the two of them, so you don't believe that part. But the historical part, you believe. Don't miss, Vladimir Putin's humiliation exposed on Russian state TV, video, King's Aids brace for unhelpful backlash from the Crown release, Insight, Boris Johnson, a hopeful return with much work still to do, comment. Hostin used Prince Harry's own words to justify the Crown's treatment of Diana, image, Getty, trending other panelists on the popular ABC show disagreed, with Sarah Haynes suggesting that a disclaimer is the least they could do for historical accuracy. Whoopi Goldberg also said that historical fiction programs had to be careful, citing recent controversies around the hit Netflix show Dahmer. This comes as King Charles' close advisors are dreading the release of the new season, as the palace braces for a flurry of negativity. However, the Express Royal correspondent Richard Palmer remarked that Charles and his advisors feel helpless to stop it. Several close famous friends of the new king have come out in recent days against purported storylines in the show, including broadcaster Jonathan Dimbleby who called the crown full of nonsense. Read next, King's aides brace for unhelpful backlash from the Crown release Princess Diana wore red to demand attention and get noticed the Crown adds warning for season 5 after backlash the Crown's royal bashing is insult to Queen and Britain now Norway's Princess Martha could lose title in controversial move.